I've got a uh, 12 to 15 year old pluot tree that you see here that I've been trying to salvage for a few years now. It's kind of been mistreated. Um, it's probably been mispruned. Uh, then didn't, it didn't uh, get planted right in the first place. And to add insult to injury, I kind of buried it under another two feet or so of soil or so. And as a result, uh, it's been in a slow decline over the past few years. It uh, hasn't produced any fruit in just as many years, and half of the tree is dying or, or dead. As you can see, there's uh, all this section of the tree is just dead. This whole side of the tree is dead. But I'm hoping there's promise because these, um, this side of the tree seems to be decent, although it does have, I don't know if that's uh, fire blight or what exactly that is, but it doesn't look good. Um, let's take a look at some of the branches here. There's, there's sap, um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's sap in, coming out of a lot of, a lot of the joints here on the on these laterals and the bark has has some splitting and it's in pretty bad shape uh, it's got it's got uh, sap growing out of it there's a big gob of sap right there and I removed another big gob that was further down but if we go to the other side, you can see more splitting. So there's a bunch of splitting there. And uh, there's a branch that I removed a few years ago. And I don't remember if that was split or it just was dead. Or I just pruned it down because I wanted a more manageable tree. And there is also signs of insect damage you can see there are some holes I don't know if that's termites or tree borer insect of some sort but uh, if the tree is diseased I imagine this was the uh, the vector or the agent that caused that uh, disease and you can see it's all through it's all through uh, through here as well. And get it to focus. Come on, focus. Doesn't want to focus. Okay. So, anyways, there's a there's a bunch of uh, holes there. So <coughs> it looks like it's in pretty bad shape, and I'm hoping. That, that Bill or Green Garden Guy One or someone else out there who has some expertise can recommend a course of action. Maybe I should just give up and tear the guy out and put in something, something else. Or if I can, uh, if I can bring this back to life and let's take another look at uh, the foliage. I mean that's. I hate, I hate to see something that might have potential um, go to waste, so I'm open to all options. But again, there's, a, there's some of the, inf what looks like f some kind of a fire blight, and that doesn't look all that great, so I don't know. Uh, if you have any ideas, uh, I'd really like to hear about it and uh, please leave them in the comments. Thanks.